Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this Boston Market Meatloaf. This is um, with mashed potatoes and traditional brown gravy. It's pretty good. You get two pieces of meatloaf too, so it's pretty good. Um, this was on sale at Walmart for $2.08, so it was pretty cheap. Um, like I said, it was on sale, so. 420 calories to eat the whole thing, which I don't think is too bad for, the, for two pieces of meatloaf. So you can do this in the conventional oven. Of course, we don't do ovens on here. We do microwaves. So we're going to pull back the vent, to, the film to cover the vent, cook on high for four minutes, uh, flip the top patty and recover. Do not stir the potatoes. So just the top patty, do not stir the potatoes. And then let it cook for another four minutes. Well, so four, flip, do not stir, and four. So you wonder why you don't stir the potatoes. It's interesting. Because usually the edges of the potatoes dry out. So. Well, here it is. So it doesn't say where to vent, it just says vent. Um, they did it over the, let's see. Looks like they did it over the potatoes, maybe? Anyway, we'll, we'll vent it over here and we'll see. Maybe it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna get this in the microwave and I'll be back when it comes out. All right, here it is out of the microwave. And I do have to say the potatoes came out better than I thought. So I'm gonna stir them up now. Uh, usually you put gravy in there to thin them out a little bit so they're kind of thick right now. You get tons of gravy, I'll tell you what. This meatloaf has tons of gravy on it. More like, looks like more like a, a Salisbury steak than a meatloaf, but yeah, we'll see. So anyway, I'm gonna let this cool off because it's super hot. I'm gonna cut some of this off. I'm not gonna put gravy in the potatoes just yet. Um, I'm gonna see what the taste like without first and then I'll try it with. So anyway, I'll be back. Okay, it's had a little time to cool off, so I'm gonna try a bite of the meat, the meatloaf first. When I'm cutting it, it's tender than like a Salisbury steak, so that's definitely a difference. Um, it cuts really easy with just a fork. It's not bad. It um, definitely has a um, more of a ground beef. Uh, kind of flavor. So I think of meatloaf with like ketchup and onions and so like that. I don't get that. It's more of a Salisbury steak with um, with gravy on it. So it's, I don't know. But it definitely has a texture of a meatloaf. It's softer than a, than a traditional Salisbury steak, which is more like a chopped steak. Um, potatoes without any gravy. Very dry, very plain. I would not eat those without gravy. They're they're pretty bland. So I took some and mixed some gravy in with them. <coughs> Jeez, man. I don't know, that really made it any better. It made them thinner, it thinned them out a little bit, but it also made them a little, they were already pretty thick and pasty. That made them even pastier, believe it or not. It thinned them out, but it, it made them pastier. Although I like the flavor of them much better with some gravy on them. So there is that. Um, this meal's just okay. The mashed potatoes are really disappointing. They're, they're not very good, they're just, they're just plain. And the gravy them, itself, it's not um, its not a really strong gravy. So the mashed potatoes with the gravy on it doesn't really have much flavor still. So, I mean, you get the gravy, a little bit of potato, that's it. Um, the, the meatloaf itself, it's not bad. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't eat much meatloaf with, with actually brown gravy, but it, it's not bad. It's, it's, none of it's very exciting, though. The flavors... Um, could have really been elevated a lot um, with the flavors of the meatloaf and um, with the gravy. It's just kind of bland. So I'm gonna give this one a three. It's just an average everyday meal. It's, it's good. It's better than some uh, frozen meatloaf meals, but it's not as good as some other ones. So, so it's just okay. It's just kind of boring. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.